Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at another book from the Folder Society. This is Richard Dawkins' Unweaving the Rainbow. I've read his Blind Watchmaker. I've yet to read this one and the next one that I'll be reviewing. But uh, I hope to get around them soon. Let's jump into it. Uh, the three books, uh, there's one more, The Selfish Gene, which uh, Folder Society produces. They all come matching sizes, slip cases, and color binding. Uh, it's a metallic -y gold type slip case with a, as you can tell, black uh, binding. You can see this beautiful metallic and gold embossing on the front here. And you saw the spine and it's a plain back. Let's take a look at the inside. Matching end papers to the slip case. Contents of the book here. Of course, all like all Folio Society books, they're printed on acid-free neutral paper. So it's a little bit thicker than normal and uh, it won't degrade with the touch of your finger. So you can read your beautiful books. As you can see, there's illustrations in this book. They're actually quite beautiful. So let's just take a look at some of them. As you can tell, and you can of course tell much better up close and personal, that the high resolution shots are very detailed. Retina of the eye, as you can see an albino snake. Beautiful. I'm actually not sure if his standard volumes come with these illustrations. For any of you uh, who own uh, Dawkins books in other formats other than the Full Society, please let me know in the comments below. I'd actually, uh, I'm actually quite curious if it comes with these illustrations or if they're simply exclusive to the Folio Society editions. And matching and papers there. That's Richard Dawkins on Weaving the Rainbow. I have one more book uh, by Richard Dawkins from the Folio Society that are coming up next, so please keep an eye out for that. Please feel free to leave any of your thoughts in the comment section below or any requests that you may have. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.